In this lesson, you'll learn how to add an image sequence to an InDesign interactive document. In5 makes this really easy. To begin, open the acmecatalog.idml file in InDesign. Choose In5 Interactive Widgets Image Sequence. Select the Rectangle Frame tool and draw a frame. The size of the frame doesn't matter. Click this button to choose the folder that contains the image sequence, then click Open. There are a bunch of options here for how you want the image sequence to behave. You could set it to automatically rotate on the page. But let's not do that. Instead, select only the Show First Image Initially and Swipe to Change Image options. Then you can close this dialog. Position the pump where you want it to appear. You can't resize the image or the frame for image sequences. So if your Layers panel isn't on the screen, choose Window Layers. So that this oversized image sequence frame doesn't obscure other page elements, the pump is on a separate layer called Model that is underneath all the other page elements. Since this was an IDML file, you need to save it. So choose File Save and save it somewhere you'll remember. That's it. It's that easy to add an interactive image sequence to an InDesign document within 5.